the sidelines. And Barry Joseph underneath. West Keats the catch. Kevin Ivan. First contact finished off by the nose tackle Adriano Belli. Andrew, Adriano Belli might get a penalty for a late hit with that little push at the end of that play on West Cates. Ball control. That's what Ken Austin is doing. Short passing game, dumping it off. Objectionable conduct. Toronto number 78. It's a 10 yard penalty, and it's first down. The Toronto Argonauts coming into this game had 13 unnecessary roughness penalties, which accounted for about 20% of the penalties called against them. Ivan brings him down with the help of Belly, and then right after that, he jumps, jabs him with that left hand. It's Saskatchewan's penalty total in a disciplined night. Second straight game where penalties haven't been a huge story. Down goes Joseph, but Jonathan Brown is in the neighborhood. And he has dialed it up in the second half. Yeah, he really has. He's, he's not only getting penetration, but he's getting up the field and then fighting back. Up the field from the left tackle. Look at that fight. He goes through two, cuts all the way underneath, and is in the lane and makes the tackle without his helmet on. Second of the night, seventh of the year. Remember, Real Johnson has six out of the lineup with a foot injury for the Argos. Second and 12 from the Argo 50. And the draw. And Cates broke a tackle. A belly tackle gets to the 40. He has 10. He'll be too short. Looked like Belly had a shot at him behind the line of scrimmage. Ken Miller with a nice call there because the pressure. Remember we talked about Fred Perry's pressure and how you can counteract that by attacking that? Well, this time, Don Jonathan Brown has got some pressure lately. He comes up the field from the left of your screen, and they run Wes Cage right past him on the draw. See the left of your screen, 97? He does a pass rush move, gets really deep, and that's where they attack right underneath. So the field goal unit comes on. Luka Kanji trying to match his season longest, which is 47. And there is James Johnson on side to give you something else to think about. But Kanji kicks it away. Nope. And he is short. Livingston drops it. Wade Smith there. Who comes up with it? There is a penalty marker. Rough Riders have the football. Again, oh, a marker on the play as Levingston mishandles the short field goal attempt. It was so close to the crossbar, it may have distracted Bashar Levingston. Michael O'Shea wants a word. And he's not going to get it. Not sure why the flag was thrown well, here. It didn't touch the crossbar. It's almost as if the flag came out for no yards, and clearly no, no. yards wasn't an issue. No, it isn't. Back jet Kerry Anderson threw it, but the ball hit Bashar Livingston well before anybody was within five yards. This is a critical call with Saskatchewan apparently with a recovery at about the five yard line. This might be a flag thrown in error. We'll see now. Saskatchewan gained possession on that play. As a dead ball foul, we have major foul unnecessary roughness, Saskatchewan 67, and it becomes first down Saskatchewan. So they won't get it right on the doorstep. Yeah, I, I don't know how they could rule that that was before the fumble because we clearly see well there's 67 Abu Mestrick yep. to the left of your screen we lose him for a bit but there's the flag before anybody got possession of the football yeah and, and but the problem for Mike Clemens is you can't challenge